What's up my Sekaiichi Apples, this is Rob from Mega Guy Plays, and today on the Daily Grind, we've got another installment of Rob Reads Your Shit That You Don't Want To Read Yourself, and this time around we've got some pretty big news to go along with these pretty big apples. Now as you can see right here, DE Rebecca actually went ahead and posted up a dev workshop to go along with the Kuvalis changes that are coming soon, part 2. Two. So let's go ahead and jump on in. So Lich 1.1 Dev Workshop plus ETA. Welcome to a three-part workshop covering Kuvalich changes. We have already talked about changes in two major batches. At the end of 2019, both in our dev streams and our initial dev workshop on November 11th, and at the start of 2020 on our first stream of the year. This workshop aims to better summarize the on-couch thoughts info being implemented and why. The three parts are as follows. Number one, ETA. Number two, what you can and can't expect. And number three, the bigger picture. I like how you just break it down into like a nice overview. First and foremost, we've got the ETA. We're going to ship these changes out today, which is strange because it's like 5.17 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time right now as I'm reading this, and I just updated the game and I didn't see anything, so I don't know how late they're working tonight. Um, but are giving ourselves until next week for more testing. Expect this next week on PC and maybe even PS4 and Xbox One with Switch coming soon. Part two, what you can and can't expect. You can expect 2020 Coup Vision. <laughs> the birth of the very first Kuvalich came out just over three months ago to the day, October 31st, 2019. A copious amount of additions, changes, and fixes have been made in these three months, each one of them touching the surface of feedback, but not fully reaching all the way into the depths. Today, that changes. If you watched DevStream 136, the 2019 player survey showed that out of the 2,700 responses, the Kuvalich system was the 2019 edition that was enjoyed the least. Many players voiced that the Kuvalich system got progressively less fun the more and more time and energy was devoted to it. While finding the line between repetition and progress is one Warframe has struggled with since the first day, Lich has highlighted some issues that we aim to address while walking the line. The Kuvalarvling Who Lived Starting from the very beginning of Kuvalich conception brings us to Kuvalarvlings. Kuvalarvlings will now play a key role in determining your future relationship with your Kuvalich. A down Kuvalarvling will now display an icon of the Kuval weapon that is birthed um, Kuvalich will possess. This allows players to decide upfront if they want to pursue that weapon by finishing the down Kuvalarvling or to ignore and attempt another Lich. Take a look at this because I already saw it. I'm just letting you know, but this looks pretty good. Look at that. You get a little thing that shows a little what item you can get and it says, you know, do you want to spawn the Lich? I don't know. As an added benefit to completing the mission, even if you choose not to kill the Kuva Larvling, a down Kuva Larvling will grant 100 Kuva on end of mission. That doesn't really mean anything. I mean, let's be real. 100 Kuva? What is, what is that in the general gist of things? But I guess, like, thematically it ties it in. Breaking your back for knowledge. Your Kuvalich will no longer kill you when you fail a Requiem guess, nor will they attempt to break your back. The Parazon stabbing animation will play, but the UI will show whether it was a success or failure. Upon receiving a Requiem fail, your Kuvalich will laugh at you and leave, leaving your back and dignity intact. There is no longer a failure loop here for the Re Requiem flow, which is fantastic. Um, Valens transfer infusion. First introduced in 26.0.6, Valens Transfer was designed to address owning duplicate Kuva weapons with different unique uh, innate damage bonuses, giving you the ability to replace Kuva weapons innate damage bonuses, uh, plus the investments like Forma, Focus Lens with one another Kuva weapon that was good at the start, but we can push this even further. Ooh, okay, so for clarification, Valens Transfer is one where you have a Kuva weapon and you've got like, you know, 25% radiation on it, and then you get the exact same Kuva weapon, but better bonuses like 50% Toxin. Right? So you can balance transfer that bonus onto the previous weapon without affecting the forma on it. Just so you know. Balance transfer now also boosts your Kuva weapon's innate damage bonus. What? If your Kuva comb with 25% damage can be infused into your 40% weapon to make it 44%. What? 
your Kuva Comb with 40% damage can be infused into your 25% weapon to make it 44% damage. Okay, your Kuva Comb with 25% damage can be fused into your 44% weapon to make it a 48.4. What? Your Kuva Weapon duplicates now offer a gradual progression towards a perfect Kuva Weapon, which would reflect a 60% damage value if you choose to pursue this path. <gasps> okay! I I like non-wasted progression. Non-wasted progression, fantastic. I'm into it. Um, your Kuva Weapon duplicates now offer... Okay, I read that. Uh, other changes you can expect. You can expect the chance of a Lich having an Ephemera to double! Yo, my life feels really good. I'm, I'm really happy. Converted Liches will stay longer, do more damage, and actually use their abilities. Okay. Two more weapons entering the Kuva fold. Can we get a Kuva heck? Can we get a Kuva? Can we get a Kuva heck? Can we get a Kuva heck? I need a Kuva heck. Can we get a Kuva heck? I'm just saying maybe we need a Kuva heck. Just putting that out there. I know some people want a Kuva so back, but I mean, Kuva heck has a little bit more like history. It's a little bit deeper in the whole. It's a, it's a good weapon. Just Kuva heck. I'm just putting that out there. <laughs> okay. I got really excited. What you can't expect, what you can't expect, is the lich be gone. We have removed the prototype for this now because rather than not fixing the core loop and just letting the lich be banished, we intend to focus on the core loop first. Since duplicates are now opt in and have a value for a min maxer, there's less of a reason to dispel a lich. I agree. That's not th a thing that's really necessarily needed, um, especially if now we can get some bonus progression towards it. And part three, bigger picture plans. The major questions remaining to be answered include Kuva Rich, Kuva Lich plus Railjack and other faction liches. Until we complete part two of this workshop, we won't have much to discuss on this front, so stay tuned. Thank you for reading. See you soon, Tenno. I can respect that, but one of the things that I will say, let me just call some people out on this. All right, Kuva Lich and Railjack should have never been shown. I'm, I'm sorry, but I feel like that was a bit of a marketing tactic slash ploy to show these kind of things off at TennoCon to get this big hoopla. But I'm sorry, you don't deserve a big hoopla for something that you can't deliver. So in my head, listen, I love all of the Kuvalet changes that we're seeing, but I'm offering some like future feedback for constructive criticism. Don't show shit that you know you can't deliver yet. Don't give a pipe dream, don't give a demo, don't give a, oh my god, look at the cool thing that we're doing, when you don't have a means of employing that into the game yet. I don't want an idea, I want something that's more concrete. Like, I get it, it's cool to show off, it's great to build hype, but that hype is all fake. And I don't like fake. We know that I just don't have, I'm too old for fake, okay? I don't have time for that bullshit. So please... I get it. You wanted to show us something big. You wanted to show us something cool. You did. You showed us something big. You showed us something cool. You showed us something that you have yet to deliver. And I don't even know, as you see right here, you don't even have the, the answers to it yourself. You created something visually for us to be hyped over. We got hyped over it. Then you didn't d deliver upon it. So what I'm saying is, I hope that this time around when we see TennoCon come through, that we don't see no goddamn trailers that you have no intentions on delivering upon. Because where was that new player, like, intro video? Because I know that that took some time to develop. So that had to have happened before the TennoCon that we saw last year. And it's still not implemented. I'm just, I'm looking at a watch that isn't here. <laughs> so I guess I'm, I'm saying shit that I can't deliver myself. Because Rob doesn't really wear watches. Regardless, let me know how you feel about these Kuvala changes. I'm actually really excited. I see some progression going on. Um, I see some transparency going on. Cut down on the RNG a little bit more, which I definitely, definitely like. I didn't like the whole, we gonna kill you, but we're not really gonna kill you. Like, even though it's just a cheap kill, because the enemy isn't actually that, like, difficult. It's just fake difficulty. I don't like fake difficulty. I like real difficulty. Regardless, leave all of your feelings down in the um, comments below. Let me know what other changes you think that they should actually go ahead and employ to the Kuva Lich system. Because if I'm going to be honest with you, I think that these are good steps forward. Also, let me know if you think that these are good steps forward too. Like if this is going to get you more interested in it. Because for me, the RNG was just too much to sit there. 
and like grind out the same weapons over and over and over again. But knowing that I'll slowly get better and better progress for these weapons. I don't know, like literally I have a uh, a Kuva, um, what do you call this? The, the sniper one. The one that's supposed to be a sniper, but it's not really a sniper. And I'm like, well, I was just going to convert your ass. But now I'm thinking about it. I'm like, well, I could take that weapon and combine it with my current weapon and it can upgrade everything that's going on right now. So part of me actually makes me rethink a couple things. Um, so let me know how you're feeling about all of this down in the comments below. Um, if you think that these are great changes or what other changes you would like to see when it comes to the Kuva Village system. Because apparently we're getting two new weapons too. Let me know which weapons you want to see. A.K.A. Kuva Heck putting it out there uh so that about does it for me for now and as always love somebody hurt nobody and touch your lich i'll see you guys next time Bye bye